94 Dragon Smoke. It's Hot Routes on Purple Daily. All right, 88397. All right, let's jump right into it, Jonathan. Keep that NFL Films music ramped up because. I mean, what a great Super Bowl it was. 31-20, Kansas City. And when they go back and look at the score, when people are like, oh, I wonder what happened in that Super Bowl. That score will not be representative of how good it was. 24, we're watching it right now. It's, yeah. There's a minute 40 seconds left. It's 24-20. I mean, the, the tension is just through the roof at that point. Yep. And big time plays being made by the Chiefs, mistakes being made by Jimmy G and and the San Francisco 49ers kind of choking with – Patrick Mahomes coming up huge. It was really, really a great back and forth Super Bowl, top to bottom. It was excellent. So we begin hot routes with the first question, Judd and Jonathan. After seeing the best and worst of Jimmy G last night, really good in the first half, but when they needed him, he couldn't uh, pull it off. Where would you rank Jimmy Garoppolo among NFC quarterbacks? Yeah, we just watched the overthrow oh. to Emmanuel Sanders. It was so close. What was it about two yards, three yards? Yep. Uh, oh. Where would you rank Jimmy G among NFC quarterbacks? You want me to go first? Yes. All right. I actually rank them because that is how seriously I take hot rods. You got Drew Brees still in the league? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. I've got the status quo for most teams. Uh, I dropped some guys based on, on the unknowns of their health, i.e. Cam Newton. Uh, but right now I've got Russell Wilson one, Drew Brees two, I move Kyler Murray up to three. Oh, wow. Which is a gutsy, gutsy. Hot there, this is the, this type of gutsy call you get hot from me on hot, hot routes. Dak Prescott at four. Aaron Rodgers, I have somewhat begrudgingly at five. I put Cousins at six and Jimmy G right behind him behind at seven. Behind Cousins. Behind Cousins. One spot behind Cousins. That's an overreaction. And one spot. That's a uh, bit of an overreaction. And That's one, an overreaction. And one spot yep. ahead of Carson Wentz. Because I can't decide if Carson Wentz is ever going to be healthy. Yeah, he's always hurt. But anyway, I think once you get past in my world, Dak, so it goes Rogers, Cousins, Jimmy G, Carson Wentz. And I can't believe I'm saying this about Aaron. You sort of mix them up there, but that's why I'm. Jonathan? Wow. That is quite the bold list you have there. That is a take. I think you mentioned this in the first segment that the quarterbacks in the NFC don't seem to stack up as well as they do in the AFC going forward or at least not the high end yeah the not low the end. end might but the high end definitely not yeah. so my high end is russell wilson and drew Brees because i'm assuming drew Brees is still in the league next year because from everything he said sounds like he's gonna play next year after that it's all kind of just everyone's the same and i have jimmy g as the top of that because he's led his team to the super bowl the most recent between all those guys between jimmy g aaron Rodgers, Dak prescott hasn't done it yet and kirk cousins hasn't done it yet I am in total agreement with you, Jonathan, that everything else is a cluster of the same yeah. guy. Yeah. It's like a bunch Make of a gutsy the, call, it's guys. Like a, Come on. A, a bunch of the Spider Man meme. I think, like, I think Jer Jared Goff and Jimmy Garoppolo and Kirk Cousins and Matt Ryan and Matt Stafford. Mm -hmm. Who's better than who? I, I mean, I think Dak Prescott is a little bit better than those guys, but still, I don't see him in the playoffs. So <laughs> that's kind of a problem, even though they had a, a good passing game this year. Carson Wentz was on the route to being an MVP when he had an unbelievably stacked team that the backup took over yeah. and dominated yeah. with. Yep. Wentz had a gutsy performance to get them into the playoffs this year, but I'm not sure that he's a guy you would bet on winning a Super Bowl anytime soon because I think he has some flaws to his game, even though I like him. But that's that's how I would categorize all these guys, even with old Cam Newton, where like maybe after a year off, he could find it. Yeah, but, but I don't know. There's still a lot of flaws there with him. So... I think Are Wilson there? Wilson is the best by a mile. And Breeze is still mm -hmm. up there. And Breeze is if he continues to play. And I actually totally agree with you on the Kyler Murray bit because Murray has the potential to be better than all these guys because of his athleticism. Yep. And he's got a great arm, too, and a great offensive coach, I think. And I like Dak. I like Dak, I too. still like Dak. I'll take the dynamic guys first. And I don't even know what Daniel Jones is going to be. His organization stinks. But yeah, I've got him way low. And the same thing with Washington. I don't know what Dwayne Hess well, is going to be, but is and is Stafford going to bounce back in Detroit? Is Detroit is, is Stafford going to be dealt? Speaking of reckless this speculation, is so hard to figure out. And where's Teddy Bridgewater going to be? Is he going to play for Tampa? Because then I'd put him up there too. I'll take the dynamic guys and put them up toward the top. But the, but I don't also want to 
degrade Jimmy Garoppolo's really good season where they were one of the most explosive passing games in the NFL. He beat Drew Brees in the Superdome 48-46 yep. and was 18 for 22 at one point playing great in this game. And then he got Mahomes like everybody else. So I don't know. Well, he's I, mortal. Mahomes he was isn't. he was very, very close to winning the Super Bowl last night. And then we would be saying if he had won, if he completes the pass to Emmanuel Sanders, we're saying, oh, my God, Jimmy G is the most clutch quarterback ever. And Shanahan's calling great plays, too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he got scared in the second half of that a little bit. I also thought real quick as an aside, and I know we're a little short on this hot routes time, so we'll speed it up uh, after this. But the sideline reporter might have been Aaron Andrews who talked to Kyle Shanahan. Yeah, said he is still infuriated at the call at the end of the half. And I thought, oh, I don't like that for San Francisco, that their head coach hasn't let it go. The call on oh, George the, Kittle when he obviously pushed off. Yeah, that was like, not a terrible He was call. really blowing his top there, and I'm just not sure that's well, what he you want. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. Yeah, I don't know that was He went zim want. on that one. All right, next uh, Veins question. popping out of his neck. Terrell Suggs, one of us, or one of you guys, and sort of me, uh, he gets another Super Bowl ring this time with the Chiefs. Very cool. He got cut by the Cardinals. I think they did it as a courtesy to him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he ends up winning the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to tell me who your favorite guy is who played for mostly one team for a lot of their career, maybe two, and then got kind of a random Super Bowl at the end of their career. Who is your favorite, Judd? Because this is a hot route it's led by our friend Matthew Collar. I'm going to go with a fullback. Yes. 2003 <laughs> Patriots had an old yes. guy who I actually once owned in fantasy football in the 90s, Larry Centers. Larry Centers, yeah, a man like of, of many neck rolls and many receptions, a fullback He's fullback. so good at coming out of the backfield. The 2003 Patriots won a Super Bowl with Larry Centers. I actually did not remember that he won that Super Bowl. I did some research. Good for you. Told you. Good job. Mine uh, would be a former Viking. He didn't spend a majority. He, he spent, he had two cents here in Minnesota. Brad Johnson, the quarterback of the 2002 sure, Tampa yeah, Bay Buccaneers. Sure, that's a good one. Won the Super Bowl with them against the Oakland Raiders. You know, he had he bounced around Minnesota, Washington, and then lands in Tampa where he just gets lucky and has John Gruden as his head coach mm -hmm. to lead him to a Super Bowl. Did you guys know that Moeldy Moore won a Super Bowl? Yep. Pittsburgh, right? That's great. <laughs> He's not my pick, but that's great. Moeldy Moore, yeah. I was just poking around f for some more that I might run into. Oh. By Byron Leftwich was I'm the engaged. backup for uh, Roethlisberger. That's awesome. Uh, yes, that's right. Um, I was on no boat. I'm engaged. The boat issue. <laughs> so I, there was a boat. Thanks, Moeldy. I, I was trying to figure out if this guy qualifies because he was one of my favorite receivers, but he had a longer career than when he won the Super Bowl. And Quan Bolden. He spent yeah. most of his career with Arizona from ages 23 to 29 and then three years with Baltimore. And his last year with Baltimore – won the Super Bowl okay. at age 32. Yeah. And then you know, he's, he had a couple of good years after that with San Francisco and then a decent season with Detroit. But a guy who I thought was great for a long time, didn't always get his due because he was behind Larry Fitz. And then he gets to Baltimore and wins the Super Bowl. So I'm going to go with Anquan Bolden. I'm sure there's lots. 2003 lots Pats also had Ted Washington. The Patriots love Ted this. Ted Washington, your guy. The Patriots love this. One of the great fat guys of all time. I love that's, Ted Washington. That's all you really have to do is just search the Patriots teams because they always have these guys. I gave you a fullback and an old I know. school nose tackle. Ted Washington was amazing. He was really good. He was great. Um, you could even kind of go a little bit like – uh, LeGarrette Blunt was a num another sort of like random yeah, guy. Yeah, he bounced we'll, around. We'll kind of get right. to that a little bit later. Um, so our uh, next question, Patrick Mahomes tweeted when he was in high school that he wanted to go to Disney World after winning the Super Bowl. He wanted to be the quarterback who said that on TV. And guess what? He did it last night. If you guys could make a sports thing come true 10 years from now by tweeting it right now, tell me what your tweet is. Jonathan? I'm going to go a little bit closer to home. The Vikings winning their second or third Super Bowl with two is their QB. Ooh, I am going on on the same theme with I am going to Disneyland in Los Angeles because I want it to be a thing again, <laughs> man. I went as a kid. Everybody went when I was a tyke. Everybody talked about Disneyland. Dad wants to go to Disneyland. You could just it, go now. No, yeah, but I'm just saying. Like to no, I want it to be a thing though. Now oh, you want the Disney court, World? You, oh, I see. Yeah, now it's always for for the last 35 years. It's been Disney World in Orlando. Whatever happened to Disneyland in Anaheim, California? I believe. Wow. 
This is I, the I, lamest hot I want Disneyland hot to be. Take, I want Disneyland to be a thing again. Make Disneyland great again. It's that is still a thing. Oh, so lame. <laughs> I'm so confused. I, it's a long story, man. Wow. Disneyland was a thing. That's super lame. Hey, uh, I'm coming back strong with the next one. I, so I think uh, make I, way. I think what I'm gonna say is that I'd like I, I'd like to tweet. Congratulations to Patrick Mahomes for passing Tom Brady with your number of Super Bowls. <laughs> because, you know, Brady's annoying. And it would be great if someone that is so likable, you cannot hate Patrick Mahomes. No. So assuming that between now and then he doesn't become a supervillain, that yep. he just remains Patrick Mahomes. Yep. It would be great to see him just keep winning Super Bowls. And football is dynasties. It always has been, you know, the idea that there's a ton of parody is not really correct. So... I wouldn't mind if the next dynasty is Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. Odds that his last team is the Vikings. Oh, 80%. I go I'm that. actually surprised I go Brady's not playing for the Vikings right now. You know what? If if, if it wasn't <laughs> for oh, that darn happens. Cousins, the Brady conversation would <laughs> oh, be hot be so and heavy great. right now. All right. And you know there's a chance in July it would happen. Next question. Uh, 